All right, welcome back everybody. Well, instead of my happy little face showing you on camera, I will start you out right here with what we're gonna go through today. On my self-education, and yes, there's many folks out there that probably have put this out, or actually not probably have put this out, about differences between a Husqvarna 562 and the Husqvarna 555. So, um, from my self-awareness that the little things that happen and the interchangeability between the twos, because they're pretty much the same saw with a few differences. So let's go through and show you some differences that I found. Obviously the starter coils are the same. They will interchange. The inside, the flywheel will interchange. The coils will interchange. Now there, with the coils, there's differences on electronics going into the carburetors and that kind of stuff. So I do know that fact that there's differences because if you look over here, here's the end of where the wire goes into um, one of the carburetors uh, there to, to take control. And here's the, the other one here that has a different end plug on it per se. So there is some slight electronic differences, but the carb itself is the same. So the carb interchanges, that's good. These pieces interchange the flange, mounting flange, for the, up to the carburetor to the motor. Those interchange. Uh, these pieces, early models, interchange with the differences of a couple things of the air filters, which interchange. Those things work. And there's an up, updated version too. I don't have the updated version. I may get one in the future. But then we look at air filters. As you can kind of see, this can go on to the top there. Let's get this stood up right. So this is the low model air filter off the 555. Also mesh, right? That also comes off and you can interchange this with the tall filter. So once the tall filter sits up there, now that would lead us to what interchanges with the top cover. There's the top cover for the 555. And there is the top cover for the 562. As you can kind of see the differences, if I can zoom out, you can kind of see the differences of compensating for the tallness, right? So those things, interchange, semi-interchange, if you got the right air filter on. So continuing on with the interchangeability, we'll get these put off to the side so we don't have anything else. So we know that the carbs interchange. We know that these air horns can interchange. We know that the base plate can interchange. Now onto the cylinder. We know the cylinder can interchange. Being, here's the catch, with the differences of these cylinders is the side covers. And so here's, here's a, a new one that I got. This is aftermarket. And so you can see the side covers are on there. So the, tr uh, the transfer covers are different. You can kind of see that. Now, here's the transfer covers that we have. You can kind of see downwards, there's a little differences. This transfer cover is from the 562. It has a taller set on here, plus it comes down a little further than on the base down here. So these are big differences. These will interchange. You can take, obviously, a 562 cover and put it on the 555 and look for clearance issues and that kind of stuff, but they interchange, right? And so you can kind of turn it over, turn it over and kind of see possibly some differences on you getting more flow through the 562 transfer cap than you do on that. And that goes on the cylinders, right? So we know that those interchange. We know the cylinders are the same size. The pistons are the same size. They interchange. Perfectly acceptable, right? Wonderful. We know the starter cover interchanges. We know the brake handle interchanges. We know um, the full wrap and the side wraps interchange. 
fuel tanks interchange. They're perfectly legit and the same. Now, this is where we get to the good side <laughs> of some interchangeabilities. Okay, drums and clutches interchange, which means sprockets interchange. Now, we're getting into the cases do not interchange. There is differences between the 555 case and the 562. And that translates over to this cover, right? So the covers here, you got pieces on the covers interchange. The plastic tops that go across the top here interchange. Those are the same part number. Let's get those out of the way. Same part number. Internally, the brake bands look to be the same. What doesn't interchange is your adjuster. Your adjuster screw is completely different. And that is because of where they sit. And so let me get my plates back out. As we go back, we can kind of see the plates. There's your plate for the 562. And here's your plate for the 555. As you put this down, you'll kind of see from the top view that the oiler doesn't match up and the chain adjuster doesn't match up. So differences, right? So here, let's put this, overlay this to the top here. So your plate covers do not match up because of the oil adjustments, which translates into this. Now, if we put these two covers across the top of each other and I line them up, this is the differences that you can kind of see. You can kind of see that uh, the 562 is a little longer across here, a little bit more front chain adjuster wise. And also it has holes that you can actually put front dogs or felling spikes on there. So those are the, a, a little bit different. So that's why this will not go on a 562 case it is because of where the chain adjuster is and where the oiler is. So two things that was interesting. So now obviously I got parts to buy to make this kit, this one work or I need a whole new cover. <laughs> so sticking on this, as we can kind of see down in here, See if I can get you a better shot. The oil pumps, let's uh, travel on to the oilers because the oil pumps are different. Well, the, let me oops, correct myself. The oil pumps are the same. The worm gear drive is different. Put this off to the side, let's bring this up. Here's oil pumps out of both the 555 and 562. Identical numbers, identical parts, right? What is different? Is your pickup tube and your feed tube. Now the pickup tube into the oil itself is the same. What is different is when you stick this on here, of course this will be, let me get this correct, and putting this all one-handed here guys. So anyways, uh, the one-handed operation is uh, very fun and I hope you enjoy my uh, my little demonstration. That is wrong. Let's go with this way. So this goes on here like so. Now if we bring a case over, okay, if we bring the oil case over here and we stick the oil pump through and we stick it on here like it would be for so, you can see that the tube, the feed tube, is different. It's shorter on the 555. So you would need basically a feed tube that you can uh, get in here. So the pickup side is the fine, is, is the same length, everything's fine. It's the exit side, the feed tube for your oiler needs to be longer to go up here on the 566, the 562. Um, obviously I'm having a little hard time speech today but um so that's the difference with the oil it's not the pump it's just the tube so all you would need is a new tube if you're doing this and then the pumps themselves are exactly the same same number now 
as we're going on here, we can kind of flash over here. Here's your, your case with the 555 case, right? And we know that now the 555 does not have crank stuffers. So what happens is the cranks, the crankshafts are different across these two lines. And what happens is when you have the crank stuffer that goes on here, you have the crank stuffer that goes on here. Right down here, you have just enough of a play that it changes the case itself and how it sits in here. So in this one, and we probably are not gonna see in here, there is a lip that's down in here that's created to compensate for this. We could probably actually take this case, uh, this crank and put it in here, but I haven't done that. So if we wanted to have a stuffer crank in, and this is the 562 stuffer crank, where this is the 555 is a non-stuffer design. So we kind of keep that in mind. Now, does that translate into the bearings? No, bearings on both saws are the same. Seals are the same on both saws. So you don't have to worry about that. Those interchange. This back piece, the carb plate uh, base, that interchanges. So well, we got some interchangeability there. The exhausts, they interchange, right? So we have exhausts that interchange. So, and now the big one, staying on the oil pump when I get back to it. So what doesn't work on the oil pump in the crankcase, it's probably because the crankshaft is the 562 actually needs a different worm gear. And so this is where you can kind of see how thick the difference is. If I can put this in here, right? Let's try to balance this so where you can kind of see. Now you can kind of see the difference. So it takes it up. So you, it, it's a must that you need the thicker worm gear for 562 and the 555 worm gear does not work, even though the oil pumps are the same, right? So it means the crankshafts are different lengths on there. So anyways, thought it'd be interesting to kind of point those differences out as well. Now, one other thing, brake, brake handles, they interchange they're fine. So everything else, um, that is kind of about it. So those are the biggest differences on, on there's that worm gear on the oil pump, uh, the crankshafts themselves, and we're looking at the covers, uh, the clutch covers themselves. Now, why did I have two, two cases out here? Well, I just wanted to throw you out there that now we also get into some differences in the early model cases of a 562 and uh, the early or the later model cases you can kind of see count the bolt holes where they go so we're going to got we got six in the later models one two three four five six over here on this one it's missing that center bolt hole as we can kind of see so if you've read i i have not had the experience with these one two three four five on here um, ones have complained that these have ended up leaking so what i would say is if you're going to use this um, and you pull these apart to replace the bearings and all that other good stuff is that you would want probably a good gasket sealer in here probably like that uh, uh, moto seal or durco i'm on actually trying some durco right now yama bond all those two things would work so kind of some interesting uh, tidbits on cases um, between the later and the early 562 cases that goes on. So anyways, uh, hopefully that helps a tutorial. What does change, what doesn't change, um, and, you know, look at your top covers, uh, the difference in the air filters, the air filter bases. Is it a late, late model or, or is it an early model? Side plates on the cases, the two cases are different. Over here, of course, I got this in the vise on the bar. Everything with chain, uh, chain break and uh, stuff interchange. So uh, back plates, top covers, depending on the air filter. 
clutches, cylinders, uh, your caps would be different. So kind of some of those things and the differences there. Uh, oil pumps interchange. So hopefully that helps out. Handles interchange, tanks interchange. Um, and that's my self journey to learning these new five series or, or they've been around, but for me to get my hands on the five series saws and actually um, work through some of the differences. Maybe I should have uh, did some more YouTube searching and, uh, and took on <laughs> some of the other advice that some of the other people have done. So, um, and then it would have saved me some headaches and reordering two uh, pieces here and there. So anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, appreciate you watching. Have a wonderful day in the neighborhood that you are at. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So changes in the air with the, with the fall coming. So it's kind of nice getting out of that brutal summer heat that we used to have. So anyways, have a good one. Peace out and happy chainsaw building.